Hello, I'm Dr. Willie Finch, former native of Tyler, Texas, and 1969 graduate of Amy Scott High School. This interview today for you is conducted from the Gospel Music Workshop of America, live in Tampa Bay, Florida. I was asked today to speak to you, those of you the young people and those of you old alike, that uh, are lovers and connoisseurs of gospel music. My experience as a musician and gospel music lover and a director in this area. History has a lot to say about gospel music, but it's the soul of how we feel and how we exert our energy through Christ himself who through him we live, move, and have our being. My history, I played for my first church at the age of eight years old. Would you believe for five dollars a day? And in maturing that, and I only played in one key, and I used to laugh about that, and then as the Lord decided to say, I'm gonna take this vessel, and I'm going to mature it and turn it into what I know that it has the capability of being. From that point on, I moved on and improved in my musical abilities. I took music, which is attributed to my great-grandmother, Mrs. Georgia Polk, and my aunt, Mrs. Annabelle Cannon, who both have passed away and are sleeping on the other side, but their spirits always stay with me. Um, in the later years, in the late 60s, I moved away after high school completion to Los Angeles, California where the Lord really blessed and gave me exposure in my lifetime that many will never experience. I had the fortunate pleasure of meeting and being around the great Mahalia Jackson, which is legendary, the Clara Ward and Clara Ward singers, Dorothy Love Coates and the Harmonettes, the Pilgrim Jubilees, the Swan Silvertones, the original, and I say original because Shirley Caesar, as you see her now, was not as she was 30 years ago or 40 years ago. Shirley Caesar and the Caesar Singers, the Caravans, Albertina Walker, Inez Andrews, and would you believe the very first organist who played on the album one more time with the gospel keynotes that was recorded live there in the studio in Tyler, Texas, in the late 60s. Uh, after moving to Los Angeles, I joined the original Southern California Community Choir under the direction of Reverend James Cleveland. And we traveled all over the world uh, in singing and playing and directing with Reverend Cleveland. We did the Arsenio Hall show. We did Carnegie Hall in New York City. And the Lord provided the vehicle and the opportunity for us to record the album, as you know, Amazing Grace with Aretha Franklin, and also to travel to the Holy Land and to Jerusalem to sing gospel music. I have served over the years in the capacity of Minister of Music for the United Evangelical Churches of Christ out of Chicago, Illinois, the Universal Church of Christ out of Los Angeles, California, and also for Church of the Living God, CWFF, out of Phoenix, Arizona. These conventions have enabled me to travel throughout the country, facilitating and directing gospel music as we know at its best. I've traveled to Tyler and conducted many workshops, and for Tyler area, your Tyler area chapter of the Gospel Music Workshop was organized in 1982 out of a workshop that I conducted in conjunction with choirs I brought from California to Tyler to do a workshop and the young people decided to stay together. They enjoyed singing together. There was camaraderie and there was a union and fellowship. And thank God that they have stayed together all these years. And you have a dynamic chapter there in Tyler called the TAC, Tyler Area Chapter. And we can attribute their success to the late uh, Laverne Harvey, who Maurice Laverne Harvey, who did an excellent job in keeping this group together and also facilitating and directing music, as you know it there in Tyler. In 
the Los Angeles area and through the years I have acquired many accomplishments as far as education is concerned. I hold a baccalaureate degree, I hold a graduate degree and a doctorate degree. I am also a medical malpractice attorney and a registered nurse practitioner on the professional side, but on the gospel side, I'm a child of God. I am a musician on the staff of the Faithful Central Bible Church who started off in its inception with 227 members and now we have in excess of 18,000 members. Our church recently, three years ago, purchased the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California, the former home of the Los Angeles Lakers. And there we are under the direction of the Bishop Kenneth Ulmer. And we do sing. We have eight choirs, we have two praise teams, and a dynamic youth department which totals over 1,000 young people who immensely praise God in all different aspects of the arts and music, especially in the area of gospel music. There's theater, there's performing arts, there's dance, there's anything to captivate the interests of the young people. As we kind of culminate this and bring it to a halt, I would say to you that whatever your dream is, know that dream and move toward that dream and continue to know that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Everything that we go through in life is a test and know that it's only a test, and that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And to everything there is a season. This may not be your season, but if you can praise God in this off season, when you walk and step into your season, it'll be just like you've been there all the time. God bless you and God keep you and may heaven smile upon you.